Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we are going to embark on a class called Peace Within. Remember to flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, walking to the front and walking to the back of the mat. Beginning to deepen the breath and getting into the feel of stillness, except for you're walking back and forth with the quality of stillness within. Great, and let's come to the front, steady, still. Hands over the heart, roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen through the crown, and begin to deepen the breath. One of the gifts of yoga is allowing us to vary the intensity of each move and class so that the body can constantly regulate itself and find a healing place for itself through movement, sometimes intense, sometimes very calming. Deepening the breath and listening to the breath. Let's open the palms of the hands forward, lifting through the crown of the head. And beginning to visualize the chaos around, outside, externally, and seeing yourself as this beacon of peace, of stillness, of calmness, of peace as the world is moving through its motions and you're standing seated in the soul of your being in the calmness of the true self This class is to calm everybody down because the world is going through so many things right now as I'm shooting the class. There is fires everywhere and potential war starting and all of this and everybody's anxiety is rising but that is always the case. There is always so much going on externally. So bringing all of that, allowing it to be where it is in the physical and connecting with the deeper underlying peace that is woven into the fabric of existence. So being there regardless of the external, which is always going to challenge us. Calming down and understanding that in the scheme of, the big scheme of things, in the reality of everything that's happening, everything will work out and be okay because the truth of existence is connected to divinity or div existence is part of the divine is the divine and everything else is dualism separation so we're connecting back to truth and reaching within for that peace within reaching in, reaching deep, reaching high from within. Extending heart, love energy out, generating from within. Let's sit in chair, reaching over the head, pull the belly in, extend the tailbone slightly down and fire up the muscles in the legs squat all the way down 
give your legs a hug and come up chair pull the belly in and really connect connecting and again squat hugging the legs one more exhale folding forward the body is waving or moving almost as the branches the body of a weeping willow in the wind Reaching down, feeling the earth. Inhale, reach ahead of you or look ahead of you. Hands on the shin bones. Step it in plank. Fire up the core again, pull the belly in. Widen the chest, opening the heart here in this strong core pose. And let's shift side to side again as if we're moving with the wind while the core is strong. Lower down onto your belly. Inhale, open. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up and open the knee. You can shift forward, shoulders over the wrists and back forward onto the tippy toes and back forward drop it behind wild thing and side plank and this difficult and challenging move elbow down towards the other elbow so right elbow moves in as you lift your hips and keep everything lifted and engaged two three four five now you can crisscross the legs for more balance six seven eight nine then reach over the head, lift and lengthen, bring your right knee up, grab the knee and guide it to the front, twist, keeping the twist, come up, hands in prayer, twist, bring your hands on the outside of the right leg, straighten the legs, Flex the foot, walk here, you can reach with the left hand in this really deep opening posture. You can even turn the hips up, open the chest up, great. And walking to the front, let's bring the hands on the inside of the right. foot bring your shoulder underneath the right leg you can take a an arm balance chaturanga upward dog exhale downward facing dog
Let's take the left leg up and open the knee, lifting. Look between your hands, shift the shoulders over the wrists, coming onto the tippy toes and back. A few of those, moving with integrity, feeling the movement in the body, feeling the body. You can drop it behind while thing. Open the hips and push into that space between the shoulder blades so that the chest opens forward. Side plank. Hand behind the head and let's go. I'll do five with the feet stacking on top of each other and five with the feet staggered. So here I'm working on balance as well as strength. Keep the hips lifted. Two, it's challenging. Three, four, five. And now crisscross the feet. Step one foot in front. One, two, three, four. Lifting the hips, five. Good. Reach over the head. Lift the left knee. Walk it to the front. And twist. Without putting too much weight onto the right hand. And come up in a twist. Reach the right hand up. Left hand down the right leg. Lengthen. Hands in prayer twist. and let's bring the hands down on the floor straighten the left leg right leg is straight and feel the left hip opening here this is a hip opener deep hip opener you can reach ahead of you and now you can flip the hips up chest up i'm going to bring my hand behind my head elbow presses back otherwise you can reach i have a window behind me good beautiful and let's walk the hands on the inside of the left knee here feeling the opening of this gently opening the areas of the body going with an expansive breath moving through the body feeling the body moving through the body and an arm balance maybe or just lifting one leg whatever you can do here chaturanga up dog down dog Let's take the right leg up, coming onto the tippy toes. On the left side, walk your hands back towards the foot and keep lifting that knee, opening. Bring the right hand to the right ankle and open here. And slowly, Bring the ankle in front in a staggered squat. Straighten the back. Look ahead of you. Open the chest. And we're going to come up. That's a new move that I've been enjoying a lot. And come down. One. Staggering the squat. So focusing on the right leg. It's almost like a one-legged squat. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and downward dog. This was a part of the booty program.
let's take the left leg up and coming up onto the tippy toes feel the openness of the hips put energy into the toes energy in the heart area openness you can look between the hands and then be begin to walk the hands back here still lifting still opening feeling the energies of the body the spirals the energetic spirals through the body in different directions and optional you can grab your ankle and now bend the right knee square the hips and take a staggered squat open the chest and come up one you can tap your back leg off the floor just to feel that everything is powering on the left side try to square the hips so you're not all crooked here but you're trying to find alignment two three four five six seven eight nine 10 and step it back in down dog inhale the right leg up open the hip drop it behind while thing lift and open side plank hold it with stillness peacefulness and strength and here we're going to bend the knees touch the right hand to the outside of the left knee one two really focus on bringing everything in the core keep lifting the hips three four five six seven eight nine ten and plank chaturanga upward dog down dog take the left leg up open it drop it behind well thing lift the hips as high as you can open the chest reach forward through the heart openness and lightness find quality of lightness through the joints and through the space between the sh shoulder blades and side plank moving with integrity and stillness and steadiness the quality of steadiness within the move so almost the fabric of stillness while in motion so strength in one word one two three really squeeze the obliques four five six seven eight nine and ten plank and pull the belly in take the right foot between the hands hands in prayer lengthen through the crown of the head shift into warrior three here we're going to take the left hand to the floor right arm up revolving half moon bend the right knee warrior three 
come up to standing right hand to left knee look behind warrior three half moon revolving half moon and coming up again twist you can grab your big toe or your knee for this twist look behind the gaze follows the hand looking over the thumb one more warrior three revolving half moon warrior three coming up this time wrap your so we're wrapping the left leg around the right sit back wrapping the right elbow under the left soften the back of the shoulders release step it back plank strong core take the left foot between the hands pull the belly in open the chest lengthen through the crown of the head and shift warrior three level the hips take the right hand down left arm up shift or bring that right heel up revolving half moon push the left hip away from the left shoulder so there is length at the top of the body bend the left knee warrior three come up to standing twist and feel that twist opening the upper back warrior three revolving half moon try to look up past the thumb <laughs> and see where that takes you and what is it twist look behind if you're thinking just this is challenging yes it is not just for you, it's challenging in general. Bringing the mind into a still place, revolving half moon. And coming up, you can wrap that leg around. Gomukasana. And wrap the elbow, softening the back of the shoulders great release and this time stand up shake it out twist and reach side to side and coming out of the movement into stillness chair sit back in your chair hands on the floor crow hike up your knees onto your triceps and lift and chaturanga up dog and hold it And down dog. <sighs> Lifting through the tailbone as high as you can, decompressing the spine. Walk your hands to the back, to your feet. Chair. So we're taking chair here. And we're going to take tiny steps. Keep Keeping everything low, the knees back, and tiny steps back. 
look ahead of you, looking at the horizon. Smile. Keep low. Let's go a little lower. Activating the glutes here. If you touch, you should feel the muscles firing. Let's step the feet out into a squat outside the mat. And here we're going to do the same. Stay low, be steady. Step on the outer and inner edges of the feet and walk. If it feels more comfortable, explore your body and feel it. You can point the toes directly forward and back, walking back. Good. Straighten the legs, straighten the feet, forward fold. And again, waving, moving with the wind, with the wind of change, yielding. Walking to the front, plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, down dog, take the right leg up, warrior one. Let's draw a circle with the fingertips over the head. Feel the movement and the intricacies of movement here through the torso. Drop the shoulder blades down into the back. Exhale down. Plank and chaturanga and upward dog. And down dog. Really paying attention to the breath. Let's take the left leg. Between the hands, warrior, one. Soften the shoulders, drop the shoulder blades down, pull the belly in. Reverse the direction of your circle here and feel the movement. Expanding, opening, exploring the torso, the muscles of the back of the chest, of the core obliques. Exhale down, plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Take the right leg up, step it through, warrior two. Look down at the knee, maybe bring your hand over your leg lovingly as a way to create muscle mind muscle connection and as a way to bring touch into a practice because that's one of the healing healing modalities Reverse the warrior. And back to warrior two. Let's straighten the leg. Feeling, lifting the arches of the feet. Hinging at the hips. Open the top part of the body, the ribs. Lengthen through the spine. Reach. and readjust you don't have to go deep in triangle pose it's a challenging pose and we want to maybe pull back a little hold back in it so that we can open the top part of the body and not so much focus on the depth of the pose but rather the opening of the top keeping the knee slightly bent as it's very ex extending pose right all right, bring your hand down, step it back, chaturanga, up dog, 
chaturanga maybe down dog take the left leg up step it through warrior two feeling the strength of the core the obliques the front leg the left leg here powering you can bring touch to that to the healing movement to the breath feeling the muscles that are powering firing reverse warrior lengthening and let's lengthen straighten the lead knee open the right hip right rib cage opens right shoulder opens and lower down here again don't go very far in this pose bend micro bend the knees a little bit lifting the arches of the feet and just feeling the expansive opening nature here and this time come up we're going to bend the left knee again and bring the left hand on the outside of that knee in a variation of side angle and glide the hand behind open again here great reverse it you just walk your hands to the back of the room to your back foot bring the hand right hand on the outside of the right foot open here feel the openness glide your hand behind and open again with the feet flexing beautiful feeling the openness and the fluidity in the body again walk the hands on the in the middle of your mat open the feet out plie let's pulse one two three look down make sure that your knees are opening and aligning with your feet and align the feet with the knees rather than the other way the knees are the limitation here so if they're limited by the inner thighs if they're a little further in then the feet have to be a little further in so ankles knees everything aligns and we feel the body and a few more pulses really feeling here the pulse the muscles working you can move side to side and let's reach over the body side bend and again one more one more twist twist and really press push into the hand feel it great coming out of the plie face the front lower the hands down lower the foot down pigeon lifting the rib cage away from the hip bones lengthening elongating open here and hold for a few moments a few breaths feeling the openness of the hip let's come up open the chest you can even twist to your left onto all fours opposite side level the hips open the chest lifting the rib cage lower down and breathe
Coming up, you can twist to your right. Look over the shoulder lengthen and feel the twist. And come on to all fours. You can move in a wave like motion. Let's spread the fingers open and lift the knees off the floor. And we're gonna do side to side kick with the knees continuously off the floor. So really activating the core here, side to side movement. Take the right knee, right foot kicks under. Left knee across, left foot. Good strength, steadiness. Keeping everything pulled in. Great. And squat down. Sit back, roll into plow. and shoulder stand. Maybe bicycles here, leg bicycles. And you can come out of plow and go into bridge, or you can bring your hands onto the lower back and slowly lower the right leg down, left leg up, switch, and release. And lay back. Pull the belly in, press the lower back down into the floor and reach over the head, extending the tailbone down and engaging the core. <sighs> Exhale completely and hollow the belly. And release. Hug your knees into your chest. Holding yourself in a hug and feel that hug. Feel the feel that you're contained. Smile. Hands behind the head, and we're going to do a slow bicycle and shift. Elbows back, shift. Elbows back, shift, elbows back, shift, elbows back, shift. <sighs> Release. Soles of the feet together. Let's extend the left leg and bring it to your left. Bring the right foot over the left leg. Grab your right wrist with the left hand, keeping the both of your butt cheeks down. Reach over like a crescent moon to your left, stretching the entire right side of the body. So we're arching to the left, stretching the right, and change. Same thing. Keep your shoulder blades down. Hips down, softening into the move. 
and make yourself comfortable for Shavasana. Find a relaxation, allowing everything to drop, release, relax. Unravel. Untether. Unleash. And become so that you can just be experiencing the texture of the moment, experiencing the essence of being, experiencing being. Stay here for as long as you need to just be. without having to give meaning to that being or to be in particular something but just be be existence itself be namaste